my crafting bunnies, it's Mio here and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute plushy octopus. This video will go through step by step how you make the body and the head of this octopus and you can actually decorate it however you want. As you can see here, I have a pink one that looks like a fancy French man with a nice little mustache and a cute little girly one with a cute little bow. I absolutely love how this tutorial turned out so I hope you guys really enjoy it as much as I do. And for those of you guys who are brand new to sewing, don't worry, this is actually not a very hard project to do at all. As always, if you like more videos like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram. My username is FlyingMio. And of course, you can check out my other social networks in the down bar. Let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. We're going to start by making the pattern of the body, which is literally a sphere. I'm going to take a ruler, pencil, and paper, and I'm going to draw out the four section patterns to form my little ball. I'm going to measure it out to be six inches long, and in the center is the three inch mark. So I'm going to mark that there, and that will be the center point of my pattern. I'm going to measure an inch and a half on each side, which is half of three inches, to form the widest part of my pattern. And I'm just going to connect all my dots. If you can, try to make the points to be about a 90 degree angle. And once you're happy with the pattern, go ahead and cut it out. I fold it in half just to make sure that the pattern is really symmetrical. But you don't have to do this if you don't want to and you're pretty strong and confident that you have a pretty symmetrical pattern. This is what my pattern looks like. And as you can see, when I fold it in half, it's pretty much the same in all of the dimensions. So it's a very, very symmetrical pattern. And I made sure my tips are about 90 degree angles. For this project in particular, I recommend you guys using a fleece fabric. It just is really easy fabric to use and it actually makes this project look really nice. But if you have another type of fabric, you can actually use that. You're going to need four copies of this flip ball shape pattern and you're just going to pin it down and cut it out. I actually plan on hand sewing this project. But if you are not going to hand sew, you're going to use a machine, I recommend you guys to leave a quarter inch on the edges instead of just cutting it all the way to the edge like I am so that you have room for the seams. So here is the first pattern that I cut out and as I said earlier, you're going to need four to form a nice round sphere. Now moving on to the legs, you're going to need to cut out some nice little leg patterns. These are pretty much round looking hot dog shaped tentacles. They're a little bit larger than my thumb as you can see and I cut enough room on the edges so that I can turn them inside out for the seam. I cut out eight light pink ones to match the body of my octopus and I cut out an extra eight darker pink ones to form the bottom color of my tentacle. You can pick whatever color you want. You can even make them all light pink if you'd like. And I literally hand sewed all the pieces together. Just make sure you leave room at the bottom so that you can add some stuffing hand sew all my pieces together I'm just using a regular blanket stitch as you can see here but you can literally use any type of stitch you want I just think the blanket stitch is the prettiest stitch that I've become very fond of and this is what it looks like so far I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of my eight tentacles and bodies just the way like this so this is what my eight tentacles look like and as you can see the bottom has nothing there so I can flip it inside out like so if you choose to use a sewing machine, it's not very much different. Now to sew the body pieces together, I'm just going to put two of the football looking patterns together and hand sew one edge as you see me doing here. The key to having a nice round sphere is to make sure each little stitch that you put in by hand is nice and even along the sides. You don't want one larger than the other because otherwise it won't be nice and round. Now for the third piece, I'm actually going to attach it on one flap of the opening. As I said earlier, fleece is the fabric of choice I use for this fabric because I don't have to worry about a right side and a wrong side. If you're using a different type of fabric, you want to make sure that the right sides are all facing inward so that when you flip them inside out, it's facing outward and you will have a nice pretty seam on the sides that you won't see and they're all hidden inside of your octopus. So once you put three pieces together, this is what it looks like and you're just going to go ahead and sew your last football pattern onto your opening. Just make sure on one of the sides you leave a nice inch long gap so that you can turn this inside out. 
So this is what the piece looks like here. And as you can see, I left a gap right here on the edge. And I'm going to go ahead and flip this whole thing inside out so that you don't see any of the hand sewn mistakes that I may have done. You will also need some pillow stuffing. I literally just cut up a pillow that I was no longer using anymore and used this stuffing to fill it in. But if you have stuffing from a craft store that you bought, those work just as well. But in case you don't have those, you can really use any type of stuffing you have around the house. If you wanted to make it into a Beanie Baby, you can even fill these in with pinto beans. Now, once you've filled everything in, you're just gonna sew up the edges and make sure that there are no holes or gaps. And once you are done, you can see that I have a really nice round sphere to form the body. Now for the legs, once you have stuffed all of the stuffing inside each of your eight tentacles, you're going to sew the tentacles onto each other. So as you can see here, I'm just putting the needle up and down through the side of the needle where the opening is. And with one long piece of string, I went ahead and attached all of them together to form a ring. And once I'm done with the ring, I put the head on top to form my octopus. You can really be creative with the type of colors and sizes that you make your octopus. These are the two that I created. And for some eyes, I bought these plastic eyes from Hobby Lobby. They're pretty large. They're about a centimeter in diameter. And I think these eyes would be perfect for my octopus. So to put them in, I took a pencil and marked where I'm going to form the holes of my eyes. And with a pair of scissors, I went ahead and just made a small little cut where I had placed that pencil mark, just large enough to insert the back of the eye, but not too large that the eyes would easily fall out. Once you're happy with the position, you're just going to take some glue and glue them down. And with regular felt, I just cut out some extra face pieces to decorate my octopus. You want to give it a nice colored plush cheeks, a mouth, a mustache, maybe even some eyebrows. Really, the world is your oyster. You can decorate your octopus however you want. It just so happens these are how I decorated mine, and I hope it gives you some nice inspirational ideas as to how you can decorate yours. You can always sew all the pieces onto your octopus. I chose to hot glue everything together, and that is really it. That's how I made this really cute octopus. It's a very easy tutorial, and I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this. For more like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. And do check out my Instagram account. My username is Flying Neo. You can check out previews of future videos that I plan on showing you guys on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck in crafting and I will catch you guys very soon. Bye!